Good morning. So today, hopefully, I'll get started on what I attempted to start yesterday. Um, importing snippets via the GUI app. Um, yesterday I got kind of sidelined by a bug that I found straight off. Um, so let's see. Uh, let's, let's test the uh, premise. So we have the daemon up and running. Um, and we know that we've got no snippets. Or well, at least I shouldn't have any snippets. Because I deleted them all. Okay. So this is what we get when we have no snippets. And it's like first first use effectively. Um, you can obviously hit this whopping great big button to add a snippet. Which I probably will drop down in size at some point um, and then you can add a snippet um, so let's do ripple that's what you'll get from now on um, but what would be nice is if in here you could say, okay, I've got a whole bunch of um, snippets that I exported from another machine or as a backup earlier or something, and I'm re reinstalling or something. Let me uh, just import that backup. So that's what I want to do today. So um, let's stick that across the workspace five. Um, and let's look at uh, what we're going to do. So let's clean out some of this. I can go as well. I need somewhere to hang off this functionality. So let's do that first. So let's do it in the welcome screen first. But I'm going to also have to create some other means of doing that potentially a menu, um, but I haven't done any menu stuff yet at the moment. And that's kind of intentional, um, as you'll see that I generally don't use a menu on my apps. Um, so, um, you know, if you can just like poke at things and they're there, it's great. Um, but sometimes menus are good, especially for discovering shortcuts and things as well. So I will eventually get a menu, but it's not my priority. Um, so let's do something with this welcome screen and then eventually we'll add the same thing to a settings page um, where we can do extra bits and bobs like import and export. Um, so we have this here. I'm going to reduce the size of this, I think, of this icon. Um, so at the moment, it's defaulting to a scale of 8, um, which is rather large. Um, so I might actually reduce this to default. Because it's kind of OTT. Let's try that. That's better. Yeah, we'll leave that. And then um, we want basically another one. So I think. Do I? Hmm. Actually, it might be nice instead of having yet another one stacked here, just to have like a smaller option, uh, maybe along here. So, so it's like a small icon um, for importing, and then it says 
import um, import snippets or something. Just as like a secondary option. So it doesn't have quite the emphasis. Yeah. So let's try that. Um, so that's not an icon button. Um, I still only want to have this if we have a connection. So let's do icon. Um, I need some I need an icon for this. Uh, it's got plus square. Let's see what else there is. Um, I want like an import. Uh, Trying to find an icon. I'm gonna to have to go. Uh, where am I going? I'm going to font. Some. Now this is six, but I want five. And I want some sort of import thing. That would be ideal. But do we have it available? No. Did I import the other package? Oh, I have got six. Okay. Oh, I, yes. So I've got this other package. That's right. So I've got to remember how I have them. Uh, let's see. So it's something like import FA file import and I've been typing the wrong thing there in that thank you if a file import Ugh. from port awesome I want the regular I think It's optimized away. Hold on a second. Let me use you. Right. So data equals FA file import. Right. Let's just see if that pops in. Okay. All right, so why am I using this? Why is this wrong? I 
doesn't make any sense. Okay, I need to go look at the docks for Svelte or some Oh no, it's there. I have the at. Why is that not working? I thought I missed that then. What did I do wrong? Import blah from there, then use it. It's that simple. Shouldn't be any setup. I've got an icon, or I should have, because I've used it already. Hmm. Okay. It's all there. No. It's not there. Oh, so it must be in the solid. Okay. Solid as VG icons. This might not be what I want then. Okay, I'll give it a go. That's all right, actually. Okay, that's fine. Okay, right, so we want 
a little bit of um, spacing and padding and things. So let's start with a paragraph. Let's see what we got. Not a lot, but at least I'll be able to do things with it. Um, I can also make that dimmed like I did above. Oops. Okay. That's better. Maybe I didn't save it last time. Now, can I put text afterwards? So let's have underscore and we'll have something like uh, we will have uh, import snippets title section, I think. So at the moment it will just show that. Let's go and add it to our translation stuff. Should we put that then? Maybe do that, something like that. Just here. Import snippets. Uh, we will likely have errors, so in error importing snippets and uh, now I've got to bounce it haven't I can I just do a reload yeah good the translations um, don't auto populate in here after Wells does its thing but that's fine Okay, now it would be nice if the middles were aligned. It's a little bit off there. So let's do um, well, a kind of Could I could do a horizontal version of an icon button. Should we try that? Yeah, let's try that. Okay. So we will take that out for the moment. We'll make this an icon button. We will switch that to be icon. We will also have icon class equals dimmed. And 
then we'll close it off. Let's clean up a little bit. Okay, so this will be um, vertical now and large. So let's change that. Oops. Mm. Maybe two. Something like that. And then we need something like um, Well, we could do things like, we could either have it as horizontal, true, false, or we could have label placement as bottom or right. But I think a Boolean would be nice. So let's do... Um, Export let horizontal false. That should make no difference just now. And then, and then I'm going to work out how to do this now. So Let's do this. So class horizontal, and then we're going to do something like. Horizontal icon wrapper mm. actually. This is going to be fun because at the moment it's centered and I need to change that. Because I'm not going to be able to So at the moment, this centered is um, making it do a column flex, whereas I actually want to switch back to the default row. So c 
kind of just need to turn that on and off. So let's do this. This could be a const. Const centered. Not horizontal. In fact, I might want to have the horizontal there as well, just in case. So at the moment, right, let's take that out for a second and just see what happens. So when it's horizontal, what we're going to get now. No difference. Oh, I haven't said it. So I'm turning on horizontal now. Okay, that's great. So now Mm. Now the div kind of becomes a problem. because it's doing the old break. So I'm going to have to like stop it from doing line block. Okay, this will be fun. All right, so if we are in horizontal mode, Then the icon wrapper should be displayed as an inline block. Is that going to work on a diff? Is it going to override it enough? Yeah. And then We also want to update here to say horizontal we do display flex and align items center. There we go. And we want a bit of a gap as well, don't we? Um, can I just do gap here? Not point five rem. That's all right. right scale on that is a little bit big.
Okay. And I just need to drop it down a little bit, give it some space. So I guess I could just wrap that. Let's use a power graph at the moment. That's okay. Don't really need these classes at the moment, but they might come in useful. A bit more uniform. That's okay. Okay, so we've added a horizontal mode to the uh, button, which is nice. Seems to be okay. So now let's do something when we click. So at the moment, you can click that. You can click that, but it's not going to do anything because we haven't hooked it up. Click that, it will. So we need to do something there. Um, let's uh, basically do this. On click. Uh, but we don't want to handle add snippet. We want to, uh, oops, import snippets. And this is where the fun begins. Because we don't have any import snippets functionality yet. So, function handle import snippets do the thing. Uh, right, so uh, we haven't got a back end, or oh, have we? I can't remember. I might have preempted this. No. We have ping add update remove get all get snippets get snippets with abbreviation get snippet with ID paste snippet now blah 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 and search and paste mode. What we need now is an import. here so what we're going to need is something that does something like oh I know okay I've got a show error I just think I'm in the head there um, there's bound to be an error at some point so we need to do well, let's just do this. So import snippets. Uh, 
This is going to be fun. Because this is going to be something that we do want to do from the go side. And then just tell the UI that we have or haven't imported some snippets. So hmm. we could just do potentially a Boolean return there. But if there's an error, yeah, and you could cancel the import. So let's do this. So we do import snippets. We're not going to give it anything. We're just saying, hey, backend, go import, please. And then we're going to return a Boolean and potentially an error. And then Then we need to do stuff. So debug service. We've got the sync snippets. Oh, I've got a sync result. That's a good point. forgot about that. It gives me all this stuff. Ah. Okay, so in the CLI, this is how I do it. I read a file, um, and then if there's anything in the file, them in. So the read file does the do and creates all the snippets. Okay. So I'm basically going to want to do this. But. Using a Wales dialogue to grab the file name and stuff. Okay, I'm going to copy this. It's going to be wrong. But here's a start. So the first thing I really need to do is Get 
get the file. Uh, so let's look at Wales's docs for that. Dialog. Uh, open directory, open file. So I'll be wanting to do an open file at the moment. And then when I come to do the export, I'll we'll do a save file. So open file takes the context, dialogue options. Return selected file or an error. And if it's empty, it means the user just said nope. Okay. And then open dialog options. Okay, that might be handy as well. Let's show it in files. Mm. Okay. Right then, so we want a open file dialog so file name and error from open file dialog we're passing in the app context and then options. So I better put together some options. So what we'll do is options is equal to um, open was it dialog? Yeah, open dialog options. <clears throat> and oops, better make sure it's initialized there. And I want Well, actually, let's not do anything. See what we get, and then we'll uh, go from there. So we've got a file name. I'm going to pass that. Well, I'm going to test it first. There is not equal to new. Turn false error if our name dot length is less than Six. So that's 
dot j s o n plus a letter um at a false and nil is so basically cancelled Uh, so and then hopefully I mean I'm well I'm testing I'm gonna be bailing out right now anyway. But let's do let's just do the rest while we're here. Can I read file? file name to import that in a sec why is that not important anyway If the length of the snippets is less than one, we Do this. Now I could just use the runtime, but I only want to pass in a title and a message, so I could just reuse that show error because I don't actually care about the result. Then again, I haven't got translations on the back end yet. So gotta do it at some point though. I think what I'll do well don't want an error anyway thinking about it so instead so we're definitely going to be returning false nil but I think I want um, hmm. 
message dialog type probably of info I guess yeah uh, let's just nick that bit from up here Do, and then the title will simply be um, yeah I'm gonna have to do some translation stuff at some point Okay, so it was an empty file basically. Otherwise, I'm using options second time here. So let's do uh, sync, sync options. Uh, update. Good point, good point, good point. Import snippets. Hmm. Yeah. Date. Now that's going to be forced by default, which is what we want here in this case. But at some point, we might need to change that. So we're doing this and we're passing in sync options. Uh, we may have an error. And at the end, hopefully we'll turn True and nil, and then we may do some sort of dialogue here as well. Let's have um, okay. Let's just do a quick and dirty here. Let's do because um, I think oh, got rid of it. I want skips created, updated, and deleted. Okay. Uh, let's have um,
Guess what I want is this. This is just a quick and dirty uh, debug message at the moment. I'm not going to get finished today because I need to go. Um, so why is that not important? Why is that different to how I did it? Up here. Hey. I'm surprised it does that when I haven't actually saved it yet. Have I got. Oh, I must have low auto save on or something. I have to change that. Okay. I think I just need to do this. Oh, it sorted itself out and save. It's done already. Yup. Okay. Okay, so... Probably, let's just kill that for a sec. And we'll just do a make tidy. Quick make, see if that's doing okay. Okay. And then, um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to test this because we've run out of time. But, um, let's have a quick look. If I go back into the welcome screen, and I do um, what was the results? Came back. Pretty me. So, um, okay, is equal to a weight on import snippets. False. We don't want to do an update and then catch your uh, uh, 
we want to do show error. Snippets. Here a title. And then the actual error. Confused as to why. I'm still complaining about that, but anyway. Okay, this is going to do all kinds of horrors right now. But let's give it a go. Yeah, okay. It's not happy. Interesting. Not what I expected. But anyway, I've got to quit just now. So that's something to be looked at another time. Fortunately. Right. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, take care.